Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be making some frozen style tea and this really is good tea. I just want to show you guys how it looks in the package. Also, this is a vlog from maybe a couple of weeks ago. So we were still very cold. It was wintry and I was just preparing a cup of warm tea and... I'll let the rest of the vlog kind of guide you as to what I was doing a few weeks ago. I would have put this out a lot sooner, but I've been super busy, so I hope you guys enjoy. So it is my mom's birthday and we're going over her house. We have to go pick up a cake and get some gas and get something to eat before we go over. And so it's very cold outside and so we're just getting ready to head out. So this is like the day before Valentine's Day in our local grocery store. They had all these beautiful flower arrangements out and chocolate covered strawberries and all the goodies for Valentine's Day gifts. So I just thought I would film it because it was so pretty. This was supposed to say loads of love, but some of the letters were missing or they fell. I thought that was still cute. Um, yeah, they had this little station set up to make chocolate covered strawberries and where you could buy all your Valentine's Day gifts. Then, of course, we went to the toy aisle because we had gifts to buy for other people. And, of course, the kids started playing with toys again. Um, they're still at that phase where they still like toys, but are growing up. So they like to have fun. We couldn't decide what type of cake to get my mother for her birthday, so we got a cake that had several options to choose from since there's not, you know, a lot of different, you know, tastes. People like different things, so instead of arguing or buying more than one cake, we just bought that one. But look at the selection. Then, of course, self-checkout. I mean, what happened to the employees? I guess maybe they should give us a bigger discount, okay? Because we have to check out our own groceries now at some places. The kids are making me pump my own gas. So I gotta go pump my gas even though I have two older, abled body people in the car that could pump it for me. It's not the 1900s, mama. So we're getting Panera Bread and we're getting the vegan sandwich or is it just vegetarian? We, we make it vegan. So. And then we have to go get smushes or something. It's just like anything. Yes, this is the Texas countryside. See the cows? Hee haw. So we got to my mom's house and of course, as you can tell, she loves antiques in that really nice Victorian style uh, decor. So I kind of get some of that from her, you know, the type of style that I like, you know, very maximalist and antique. So this is a little bit of a uh, glimpse into her furnishings. And of course she loved the cake. I got some salads as well. And I think we also got some hummus as well. And she enjoyed. We have a vlog where I threw her a tea party at my house um, maybe a year ago. And if you guys have seen that, let me know in the comments. You got the same understanding, right? Layla, you better delete your Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> your Facebook page. I don't know. You remember the one that used to have? I don't have a Facebook page. I never my space. 
Layla, like, like you gotta delete your MySpace page too. Yeah. No, you ain't gotta delete nothing. Just don't make sure you don't crowd MySpace. No, See, you got room between us. Like MySpace, like the social media. The Layla, social I media. promise you, I know. Are you sure? I'm joking with you, girl. <laughs> but I like yeah, joking with you. My mom likes you. to joke around a lot. This is a picture of her when she was a little bit younger. And there's me when I graduated from mortuary school. And Layla's like checking out the guitar. Of course, Sasha wanted some action on that guitar as well. I talk a lot. I don't chase. Lactose intolerance is my thing. I am a camel. Our Facebook page. <laughs> yeah, lately, I think y'all are good. It's just a humbling thing to do. So, we were gonna try to be cool. Like, no, don't be cool. just got back from my mom's and now we're back home i don't know what we're gonna do now we might watch a movie or just relax and do nothing and maybe read something so it's been a long day we had a good visit with my mom she loved all her gifts so um i also got a few packages in from amazon for some more stuff that um i ordered for pilates and yoga class so um, I gotta show you all those. So my mom gave me this really beautiful swan candelabra. Um, I think it, there was two pieces to it, but then you can also just set it on the table. So, um, yeah, isn't it pretty? I think there's supposed to be like a stand to it like this, but this also has like feet that you can just put it on the table with as well. I'm gonna have to polish it up a little bit and maybe put it somewhere else. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. Hello. This is after a long day. So I only have these Halloween bleeding candles. So I'm gonna wait and go to the Dollar Tree and get some um, other taper candles first. Because I don't want this looking like it's Halloween. So I got this yoga mat strap for my yoga mat. It's pink. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it because I really don't need it. I just roll it up and put it in my bag. But if I don't ever take my bag next time, I'll use it. And then I got this Lululemon dupe um, like jacket. And it's like a workout type of runner's jacket. Uh, so I'll show you that. What it looks like. It's this really cute baby pink and <laughs> Thank you, James. Yay, I got panties. Victoria's Secret panties. Oh my gosh. They're going to be styling. <laughs> no, but these are really pretty. I like these. And they're so lacy and pretty. So I definitely will be wearing these. So that was just a little gift James got me when I had gotten back from my mom's. I don't know. He had ordered it. But um, <laughs> he does silly things like that sometimes. But it was nice. Thought that was so so for Valentine's Day, James got Layla, Sasha, and I all these little cute heart-shaped coach purses. So the one I got was the cherry heart-shaped purse with the pink cherries. Layla got the same one. Isn't it so cute? And this is what it looks like in different lighting. I'm just showing you guys the pattern. And there's Layla with hers. And then, of course, he got Sasha one. And, of course, hers had to be black because she likes wearing black. Isn't it so cute? I thought that was so sweet. And it made me want to go to the mall and visit the pink store and the Victoria's Secret store. So... Uh, the next day this is where I was and I was just getting some more leggings and things like that for my yoga class and Pilates class 
So um, they have some really cute stuff here and I'll haul it for you guys in a little while in the video. We had lunch at Teriyaki Madness again. This is one of our favorite spots because they have vegan options and we really like it. So here's our items that we got at Pink. They had a little throwback Y2K type of uh, style going on there and we picked up a few items some leggings some tops and um these are cute they're those little fold over leggings that says love pink on the leg and then i got some yoga pants um as well a cute pink sweatshirt that's really really soft and then this love pink set of fold over yoga pants these are so good i really like those and then layla got some cute like pieces that were matching sets or just a little skorts with the shorts under it and a little top as well and she's probably going to model it for us later on in the video but these were so cute we also got some body sprays and a little um they gave us a little free gift and you probably saw it earlier that little doggy but yeah they had a really good sale so we took advantage of it here's the little doggy and the body sprays and my little pink bag this is what I use for my yoga mat and my towel and stuff when I go to yoga now <laughs> and here's our little fancy she's playing in the bag and she loves pink too she loves the pink bag and she's just playing around and having fun um y'all know how cats are fancy I guess it's time to take my package upstairs, so I'm gonna just go ahead and <laughs> I love you, Nancy. Get back in the bag. The cat's out of the bag. Okay, well, she's not going in there. Hi, Fancy. <laughs> and let me play. Okay, you can play back in the bag. Here you go. Here you go. Go get in there. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. Okay, I'll turn it off. Okay, y'all, I'm on my way to class. I'm driving. I should probably put this down, but I'm on a very slow street right now. Right by my house, so I'll catch y'all later. Let's go get our workout on, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, I am done with my workout. I'm glistening a little bit. So I have to go and return something to pink and just exchange it out for a different size because I grabbed the wrong size by accident. And um, the mall's right down the street, so that's where I'm headed back to today pink and maybe they'll have some good deals or see something that i missed yesterday all right y'all i made it to the mall i took my hair down so i can look decent when i go in and um just getting rehydrated again from the workout threw some more lip gloss on and now i'm ready to go okay so i headed to pink but 
then I saw Kate Spade, so I went to go look around in there, and they had some really cute stuff. Little heart purses reminded me of the ones that James got us from Coach, but there's also some really cute Kate Spade bags out there too, y'all. Then I headed over to Saks Fifth Off, and they had a bunch of cute shoes that I was looking at. Of course, um, I'm not buying these i'm just looking but uh, i don't like spending a lot of money especially on sneakers or anything like that but i did try a few pair of shoes on in the store just for fun i really like these but i would be like six two if i literally walked around in these i would really be tall because they're super high platform but they were cute right if they were a little bit lower i might have gotten them I could be doing more exciting things, but I don't like to stray far from, you know, um, where I live or where I pick my kids up from school just in case there's traffic or something happens or whatever. I like to be nearby because I don't want to have like an, a situation where I'm far, far away. And a lot of the stuff that's kind of interesting to do is a little bit further away than where I live. So I kind of keep it near. And I try to find exciting things to do around where I live, or at least fun things for me. Anyway, Y'all, spring is coming up, so I'm probably going to be working in my garden again very soon. So now I have to go pull up all the dead flowers and plants. Sorry, I'm going to suck it on the candy. From the freeze. And then see what lived. And maybe replant some herbs or vegetables or something like that. Thinking about planting some strawberries maybe some more cherry tomatoes and definitely some more mint i already have greens roses and thyme and basil so i'm gonna just focus more on a little bit of the things that i actually like to eat um i had a zucchini squash planted but i think it froze and died <laughs> I think my strawberry plant survived, so I'll just get two more um, so we can have extra strawberries when it gets close to summertime. So that'll be fun. Whenever they start selling the stuff, I'm going to go get it. All right, y'all. I need y'all to tell me y'all's dustiest situation ever. If you feel like you want to share it. And I'm going to read them. And the dustiest one I'm going to share on the next video and, and <laughs> we'll discuss the situation or the the old situation and you know what i think about the comment okay y'all have to be real now don't make up anything make sure it's true and so that way i can pick out the dustiest situation and read it aloud and maybe give some advice on what i would have done or what i think you should have done so that'll be kind of cool right Thank you everyone for watching the video hit the like button and subscribe if you're new and don't forget to leave the comment about the dustiest story if you have one